AB Today continues, and we're at the museum in Lancaster. Norma Gerba is here, and uh, we are going to, of course, the curator here at the museum. But one piece of history that's sitting in the front, I don't think we've ever had a chance to talk about. It. First of all, hello, Norma. Hi, Amy, how are you? Very good. I want to start with this, uh, the car and this uh, automobile that's here. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of history to it. There's two things that you're always going to see when you come to the museum, the car and the dinosaur. So we'll look at both, but we'll start here. Well, this is really nice. It's a 1902 um, Oldsmobile and was donated to us by Glenn and Doreen Settle. And the amazing thing is it was from 1902, but we are, are the only, the third owner of it. You know, Glenn Settle bought this from a doctor in Tehachapi in 1927, and then he donated it to us a couple years ago. When it was new, it cost about, uh, let me see, $650 new in 1902, and Glenn only paid 150 for it. So he got it in, in Tehachapi. Uh, Keeping Sons Ford wasn't there then. <laughs> no, no, not at that time. It actually was like in a, stuck in the back of a barn. You know. But uh, kind of interesting, when the doctor bought it in 1902 in L.A., it would not come up the grade. So he had to have it shipped over to Tehachapi on the back of the, you know, the train. <laughs> well, this is an, an, an Oldsmobile, and we'll take it around the car. But let's, right up in the front, these tires are the original yes, tires. Yes, those are the original tires. The two back tires are from 1927. They're from converted motorcycle tires. Um, it's kind of interesting. It only could held, um, um, it had three gears and one gallon of gas. The top speed was about 25 miles per hour. Let's go back and we'll, we'll, okay. we'll lift the hood and take a look. It's and also interesting, the people that have been in this car, Amelia Earhart has been in this, Tommy Lasorda, um, different actors, James Gardner, Bobby Unser, race car soap. Interesting What history. are the, some of the streets going back into the 20s the that, this, that this is driven down? Oh, well, this has gone down Lancaster Boulevard, which at, in the old days was 10th Street. Sierra Highway was known as Antelope Avenue. And then 10th Street West was a Grape Avenue. So... A lot of different street names have changed. Um, Avenue I was Esperanza, you know, the road, I mean, Sierra Madre, different street names. So, but the engine is kind of different from a modern car, as you can see. For a while, you put that back on and it's the hood and it is made of wood. Now, this is one of the things you can see at the museum. It's always here. And we're, it's just a great piece to have. You know, not many museums have a car dating back this far. One of the things that you have and it's a, that you love is a, um, you're an Egyptologist, is that Yes, right? yes, I studied Egyptology at UCLA, and this is a future exhibit we're going to have. I just put out some of the items, um, but we are going to show next fall um, items on ancient Egypt, and these are authentic um, artifacts here, part of a Greco Roman mummy sarcophagus case, different pieces, uh, um, a hawk mummy, and the zebras just to show some of the different things that we have at the museum. So there's always something different going on. Now, you have, a, of course, you have different classes and, and schools that come through and visit, but it is open to the public and the hours are open to 11? Yes, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4, and Sunday, 1 to 4. We're closed Mondays and holidays. All right. What we're going to do now, take us back. We're going to follow you. Let's go ahead. We're at the museum in Lancaster, and then Norma's going to take us back to the dinosaur exhibit. Come on, let's go take a look at that right now. Right now, we're passing through the current exhibit, which, which is the annual juried art exhibit, uh, all-media art exhibit. This is our 20th one. So, and this is all local artists, very talented artists that we have in the Antelope Valley. And so you go through this area, now we'll get to our dinosaurs. And someone's going to meet us. Yes, we have Nancy Mossman, our associate curator. All righty. Nancy, hello. Hello. What are we... <laughs> we've got dinosaurs. Welcome. Yeah, land before time. <laughs> this stays, the dinosaur display, that stays. In fact, yes, I remember what was in there. <laughs> when, it, when it arrived and it was in another room. So would you walk us through it? I'll do my best. <laughs> well, let's see. <clears throat> when you come in, of course, you know all the kids are mesmerized when they walk in and they see, actually behind you is our life-size triceratops skull and the femur that's next to it. And the kids are just in awe when they see the size. They're like, wow, that's so big. And so this has just been a wonderful donation um, that we were given through a Boeing grant. And so we were very, very fortunate to receive that. And that's been here on display now for almost three years. And then we'll just kind of turn around, I guess, and, and see all the variety of dinosaurs that we have up above. On the wall, you'll see we have a variety again. 
We've got some beautiful artwork that we've had done um, with some artists that uh, um, actually we're very fortunate. One of them is one of our staff that um, did our beautiful triceratops up there. We have a parasaurolophus in the center. And then behind us we have our... <laughs> I'm so bad at these, some of these names. Um, he was actually part of our um, dinosaur exhibit, and we were really fortunate with this one as well. We have the Lancaster Museum Art Gallery Associates, and they actually, you know, they um, are a support group here at the museum, and they were able to purchase this for us. So this is actually part of our permanent collection as well. And so this, again, will be part of our little dinosaur permanent collection. So this, is the, this is the scale. This one right here is, would be... Size, see? He's a, <laughs> how you doing? Put your on that. <laughs> He's a real friend, real friendly guy. <laughs> and this one, um, again, when I was working on the dinosaur exhibit, you know, we always try to look for sponsors or local, you know, people that are willing to offer something and give something to the community. Um, this um, was again part of the associates, another um, item that they were able to purchase um, for us. So this again is one part of our permanent display. We have in the case the life size. Um, Allosaurus and an Albertosaurus skull, and above we have, you know, artwork that's done what they look like. Wow. And above you is a new donation as well, and this was from another local business, QC Consultants. They were very, very kind in offering to purchase this for us for our dinosaur exhibit, and this is a Quetzalcoatl. And so then, all, everything that you see here is pretty much on permanent display. Behind me is the saber-toothed cat. And this, we were very, very fortunate. The neat thing about this is when it came in, it was all in bags of bones. <laughs> so we were really fortunate. We had a wonderful sculptor, a local artist sculptor, that um, sculpted it and put it together for us. And um, it's just, uh, you know, great to have it here. Um, it's permanent for the kids. We have so many school tours and, and families and everything that come in all the time. So it's just our way to offer a little piece of, you know, natural history back to the kids and, and the dinosaurs. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Norma, you. we're going to get with Norma. Here. And uh, I, know I just want to go back, head to that room, which is right over. Oh, okay. The back rooms of the museum okay. where things are kept. I don't know if we're allowed in there. Well, we'll take a sneak peek just so people understand that. Museums only show at one time usually 10% of their donations. 90% are kept in the back and not on display. You can't put everything on display. So we safeguard history, though. We're going through the maintenance first. <laughs> All the work. And you can just see things are just class. Things are grouped to different uh, categories, you know, from um, kitchen items to sports, household utensils. We have old clothing, old sports, baseball, mitts and things from, uh, and new things. You have new baseballs. <laughs> yes. So now this is signed. May I pick that up? Yes, yes. Okay, this one is signed. Um, I'm just trying to read some of the signatures on it. This is uh, obviously fairly new, but I'm just trying. The significance of this baseball, does it come to mind? Um, I think it's just from the Jet Hawks locally. Okay. It might be that. Uh, but we have all types of things. We have old sports things. Um, we have different things. This you might look and go, what is this? If you can guess what this is. Is that a vacuum? No. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see what this is. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a pipe? No. What is it? <laughs> it's an old Chinese iron. They would put like, you know, heat it up and put hot coals and you just... Oh, and it's an iron. Yes. Yeah. Fascinating stuff. So. <laughs> Looking up and, and, and in here, one, it's, we get ready to wrap things up. I just wanted to, again, if you want to visit the museum, go ahead and give the hours again. Yes, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4, and Sunday 1 to 4. We're closed Mondays and holidays. If they want to visit us and have any questions, they can call us at 723-6250, and we'll be happy to talk to them. Very good, Norma. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Thank you. I want to thank you. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have more of AB Today when it continues in just a moment. Start. Eight more miles to Louisville, the hometown.